Now then, if you've got four original oil paintings, what do you do with them? Well, my next guest is going to destroy all four of them in the centre of Nelson Town Centre later today. And he joins me now to explain why. James, why are you destroying four original oil paintings? The answer is fairly simple. It's to help the environment. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, so you, you are a local award winning artist um, and this is taking place today in Nelson. Yes, yes, at uh, 12 o'clock in the Nelson Town Centre. Uh, so how is this helping the environment then? So uh, I've done it all as part of my final year college project. And so what I'm doing basically is all four of these original oil paintings are being put through a tree chipper. And then I've digitized all the originals in high quality uh, digitization and they're being sold for auction as NFTs to try and bring into contemporary art a little more as well. Um, so uh, uh, this is something called NFT, isn't it? Uh, now, I first yes. heard about NFT, uh, I think uh, late last year. And the first time I heard about it, I had to Google it and to figure out what, what it meant. So for people that Didn't don't... Didn't we all? I know. So, so people, people like, you know, like me last year who, did not, who don't know what NFT is, what is it? So basically, it's like an original, but it's digitized. So rather than having prints of photographs, you can have an original photograph and you can sell that. And that sort of works very, very well within it. It all works on complex blockchains and cryptocurrencies, but it's all digitized. And each one is an original minted, uh, basically, piece of artwork. So, yeah, and, and sometimes they create them off um, paintings. So there's original, um, you know, so many digitized pieces created and that's it. So they might create four or five and then you are the owner of either one or one of the four or five pieces. That's the idea behind it, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then so whatever they sell for, all the profits are being donated to uh, the charity Team Trees to help the environment. Brilliant. Um, so uh, what time is this taking place? Uh, 12 o'clock. So you're going to you're going to put these paintings into a, a, a tree chipper. Um, but before that, yep. you're going to you're going to take the photograph of them um, and that that will then be auctioned. Yeah, yeah. So I've got all the photos and everything all set up. So at 12 o'clock, uh, once they're all destroyed and everything, then they're going to be listed for auction on uh, the uh, NFT platform called OpenSea. Um, so just tell us a little bit about the charity Team Trees. So the charity Team Trees set up, um, I think it was 2018, and they did a load of stuff on YouTube with famous YouTubers like Mark Rober and Mr. Beast. And they did loads of things for that. But basically, for every pound uh, they get, they plant one tree. So I'm hoping that all the profits will be donated to that and we can really help the environment through this project. And you've written a book as well, haven't you, uh, James? I have indeed, yeah. It's called uh, Time to Make the Change. Uh, just tell us a little bit about that then. So it's 136 pages long. That's also in par with my project. And it's all these little tips and tricks on how individuals can help make a change rather than having to rely on companies and countries to actually take that first step and how we can influence a change. Do you know what? It I've also never teaches he people how they can save some money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've never heard of the charity team trees, but it sounds really, really interesting. The fact that you know they're planting a tree for every pound—that is—that is, that is a, a, you know inspirational, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's it's amazing what they've done, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. But there's there's loads of people like Elon Musk, for example, donated a uh, million dollars towards it, and it's it's fantastic. They've got loads of famous people doing it, and I thought I just want to try and do my part as well to actually help. No, that, that, that sounds absolutely incredible. Um, so just remind people, uh, Nelson Town Centre, uh, 12 o'clock today. Um, and uh, yeah. if, if people want to have a look at the, uh, the digitised paintings, um, where do they go to to have a look at that? They can go to the website reimagineproject.co.uk. Brilliant. Thank you so much for talking to me this morning. That's James Carter, no a local award winning artist.